G'day! In this video we'll have a look at the inserts that I use to do the turning on the CNC lathe. I use a number of different inserts, well not really, um, I use about a total of four and they're completely different in their operation, and the way they work, they're made to cut different materials, they're made for different type of cutting if you have a look at this table here you can see there's an FB and an FC which are for finishing cuts in steel they have uh, 20 degrees and 15 degrees of rake and you can see the prices I pay at the end there's an SU and an AG but the AG is actually for cutting aluminium now if we have a look at this graph here you can see the how power required to make the cut is related to the rake angle on the tool and the more rake angle you've got, the easier it is for a small lathe to make use of the cutting force. When a manufacturer puts out a insert, they have a range of depth of cut and feed that they intend it to be used for. It's designed around these parameters. The four diagrams you can see on this chart here they actually represent the four inserts that we'll be looking at. Uh, I'll be taking cuts in steel and aluminium. The steel is S1214 free cutting steel. It's turned at 2000 RPM. Aluminium is machine grade, turned at 2700 RPM. And parts of the video that are sped up are at four times speed. Depth of cut and feed are just guesses by myself and you'll see that mostly I get it wrong to start with but we work our way through that and try and end up with um, cuts that may demonstrate some usefulness to you the first insert is the FB insert it's a molded insert it's available in those grade, out, grade shapes down below the C, D, S, T and V it has a 20 degree rake angle and it's only half a millimetre until you come to the top of the bump for the chip breaker. You can see from the nose there's a very small distance before you come to that spherical looking shape which is the chip breaker. Now this is my first guess at a depth of cut and feed. Uh, as I said, I didn't necessarily get it right. Um, but as you'll see in a minute, I've got a diagram and you can see it's at the edge of their table um, so the next cut we do is at the other end of the table and you can see there's quite a different chip formation it's actually sort of making a making a chip um, breaking reasonably well you can see the finish is quite good it's coarse but it's a good finish and that's what the inserts made for giving you a good finish so that was the other end of the parameters that are set by the manufacturer and this is the same insert doing a cut in aluminium and that first cut was only four amps being drawn so that's the 20 degrees of rake coming into play there four amps that's uh, the lowest power drawn by any of these inserts and that arrow shows you where it was but it's irrelevant because that was for aluminium and that diagram is for steel next insert is the FC I've been using this insert for years it's a ground insert it's got 15 degrees of rake and you can see from the nose on the right back to that raised lump on the left that's the chip breaker I use it for brass, steel, aluminium. There you can see the difference between a moulded insert and a ground insert. And here we're... Look, I've been using this insert for years. I should have known better. I, um, yes. I really should have known better. But I was taking a cut that was on the edge of the diagram. So, as I said, I, I know this insert reasonably well. So I've taken the feed way outside the manufacturer's diagram. 
and you can see it's behaving quite nicely not exactly chipping but we're getting swarf that's manageable every time you see that swarf flick it's breaking out of shot um, so they were uh, coils or springs that were sort of um, 20 mil long to 40 mil long and you can see there by the arrow it's outside the parameters set by the manufacturer and this is even further outside this is a 0.2 per rev feed but as I said I've been using this insert a while and I tend to know its capacities it's just that it surprised me when it worked so badly on that first cut see it, that's where it is but it works well um, it's a good insert I use it for just about everything there you can see it's about four and a half amps on the first cut in aluminium so that's the 15 degrees of rake needs more power because it doesn't have the same rake as the FB molded insert but it's certainly an insert I've used for lots of lots of materials um, you can see for the aluminium that is way outside the chart there this is the SU insert I use this on my manual lathe manual lathe has two horsepower available so the eight degrees of rake is not so uh, not so drastic has the power to overcome that the good thing about it is it's a molded insert and you can see the edge there it's quite rounded it's molded and it's quite good at taking rough treatment if you bump into something a piece of material it doesn't matter the edge will handle it whereas a ground edge won't I never thought my photography would be good enough to be able to see the coolant boiling off inside the hex of a screw holding an insert in place my new camera is amazing I hope you can see in the next shot the material being turned over by the chip breaker you can just see it coming away from the nose um, that shows you how the chip is curling on those two little nodules that stick up at the end of the insert and that's where it was the, the cut was within the um, within the table within that diagram um, you can see here that the chip is turning over by hitting those two black nodules at the end that are stepped back a little way from the nose radius of the tool and you can see as the diameter gets smaller so the chip type is changing the depth of cuts the same just the surface speed has gone down because I don't have constant surface speed on this lathe and that's where the cut was according to the diagram supplied for the SU insert now <clears throat> I brought this back a bit I took it come back from one millimeter depth of cut to half because I figure that's more appropriate for smaller lathes but you can see it's chipping quite well it's just turning it over off the nose of the insert and making quite good chips now when we look at the aluminium we see it's six amps that's the eight degrees of uh, rake coming into play so the difference between eight degrees and twenty degrees is two amps so the SU is probably not a good insert to be using on a small lathe and you can see that's where that cut was but of course it doesn't matter because that diagram is for steel and we were cutting aluminium now these are aluminium inserts Sumitomo called them the AG um, Corloy refer to them as the AK um, the highlights you can see to the left they're actually bits of insert that are sticking up to form a chip breaker And that's an aluminium insert cutting steel and doing it quite well
you can see as it's getting in the, as the diameter goes down it starts to form a more curly chip when it started off the chip was just running down the tool but as it as the diameter got smaller so it started to make a curly chip that's where that was um, but it doesn't matter because that was cutting steel and that diagram's not made for steel it's made for aluminium and there we are that uh, was just over four amps for the first cut in aluminium and there's some decent chips coming off the part variously at times throughout this video I have referred to these black screenshots with coloured lines on them as tables diagrams charts they're all the same thing there's only one table and that's the one in black and white at the very beginning where we got some dollars in the end column the rest of them um, they're all the same thing if you can accept my using different words to describe them all I would much appreciate it here's the power used on these various inserts you can see the 20 degrees certainly lowers the power required so if you're not using aluminium inserts on your mini lathe you should probably give them a go they work pretty well on just about everything um, I had a look at on eBay before and they were a dollar sixty each they could be purchased for that's one dollar US um, amazing you may find there's a quality difference in the inserts but if you don't mind and your lathe doesn't mind I mean really who cares and I have to say if the aluminium insert won't handle the job you're trying to do maybe you shouldn't be trying to do that job in a mini lathe at all just a thought it's a pretty robust in insert so you could should give it a try there's some chips look I'm sure if you look closely enough you'll even find some of those magical C shaped chips in there come on there must be one somewhere Alright, thank you for watching.